Hi, everyone, and happy Easter Eve or whatever Eve it is for you tonight. So I'm here with Soren, who's kind of halfway off camera, because we are going to... See, you're still not on camera. You can see my beautiful living room now. It's clean. So we are here tonight because we are going to do something called egg blowing then dying. Yeah, this is how you make eggs when you don't want to hard boil them for Easter. So we have our huge lot of eggs, the two bowls, and that Soren, and the dyes on the side along with our vinegar for that. So what you do, and this is a real fun and gross thing, make sure you have a bowl. If you're doing with this with kids, you might end up throwing this stuff out instead of reusing it. What we're going to use, do with the uh, innards is they will become fried rice. Yeah. So you want to get something pointed. I got push pin and push it through obviously one part of the egg yay now it's not going to drip it out you make another hole on the other side try not to break it yay but there's still two small holes get something bigger this is a fondue thingy or a sharper knife or whatnot and you use it to just sit here and break off a little bit more of the shell be very gentle to make a little bit of a bigger hole. You're probably thinking, uh, how are you going to get the yolk out intact? It's not going to be intact. Shake the crap out of the egg. And then what you do with the smaller hole is you put it to your lips and blow. Dear God, you have to have lungs, so it might take a while. have some in there obviously and you can shake it and you can feel that you still have some in there this is what happens when you get extra large eggs or flour them because they're dirt cheap at Winco. whoa this egg had two yolks dude so it did mm -hmm. if you can see that but that's kind of Kind of gnarly. There goes my push pin. That's kind of cool. It had a scrabble yolk that came out with no problem, and then a whole yolk came out of that small of a hole. And I lost my push pin. Give me one second. So, after you blow, make sure everything's out. It should make a noise. What you do next is you take it to the sink with the big hole, get some drip some water get some water in it or set it in a bowl of water like get some water and pick it up hold both holds shake it and then blow it out again into the sink to rinse out the egg because i don't know about you but egg smells bad when it rot you want to make sure it's thoroughly cleaned out and then comes the fun parts so after the fun of blowing and cleaning out the eggs you'll have your empty egg shells with yes you'll have holes but they'll be empty, clean, and ready to go. So I got some of the normal egg coloring kits because I'm five and they're fun and a little less messy. Um, some people use water, some people substitute vinegar. Um, the water, I believe, according to one of these, said that, uh, oh, where is that little fun little bleep of, or use water. Uh, da, da, da. I believe the water makes it more, makes a pink tablet. It used best in water. For the best results for the pink, use water. Um, though we don't really care, so we're probably going to just use vinegar in all of them. I'm opening up the golden kit, which is going to be fun because we have not ever done this one before. And uh, it comes with this and the gold glaze for each color to give it the fun little sheen, apparently. That is kind of cool. And, of course, they come with these. And, of course, like I said, cups or bowls or however you like to do it. 
it, it's just like coloring Rayler Easter eggs. It's just fun and messy and just all that things that you remember doing as a kid or you like doing with your kids. So we're going to open this kit first. Here's the painting tray and here's this because we can do this part after they dry. Which I'm pretty sure, uh, and it pounds with your fingertips. Or need each pouch with your hand, tear the top, and then squeeze onto the plastic or onto newspaper. So now we'll do that, but it also comes with paintbrushes and your handy dandy thingy. But I'm going to cheat. Where did they go? They were just right here. <laughs> and we're going to use gloves. So instead of having to go, yeah, let's try to get it up without getting it all over the place. No, just pick it up, shake it. I cheat a lot. So of course, hand me the vinegar. Yeah. Yeah, we have the uh, huge white vinegar container. I always just put a little in to start the uh, process of uh, let's get it going. God, this stuff reeks. Yeah, you're not the one inhaling next to it. No, I got it. You want me to snort it? Here's my snort. No. <laughs> so we'll let those dissolve so we can see what colors they are. Oh, hold the vinegar for now. As they hide behind the vinegar. It looks like they give us two blues. Oh, one's a tealish color. Figuring that out is going to be interesting. No. They give us two blues. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, two. Because that's blue, green, pink, red, orange. Okay, I'm kind of seeing the color difference, maybe. Yeah. Okay, I kind of see the color difference. But we also have this kit, which has pretty much the exact same ones, the uh, glitter. We like to do the multiple fun ones, so. And it comes with a glitter pouch, and you put your eggs in here and shake them with the glue. And we have a crap ton of glitter, as you all know me to have. And they also have little shape stickers. Which I noticed the gold didn't have, but these are the white ones that you put on there. Shake it up and then pull them off, I believe. Or, are they double-sided stickers? Yes, they are actually double-sided stickers. Hmm. And it does come with glue, but I also have my own glue. But playing the color match game is going to be fun. We'll put the awesome little glitter bags because there's one for each color. Over here with that. And this actually has a color that the other ones didn't. This has yellow. Are you going to cuddle them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is pink. I know that much. This is red. This is uh, orange. Put a little bit in that one. Okay, that's green. That's a light, light green. So we have a lighter green. Don't know what color this one is. I don't know what color this one is. So they get their own cup. Until you can figure out what they are. Yep. It would make the colors even darker, I think. Yeah. So apparently, this is now going to be a yellow orange. I got the yellow and the orange mixed up. Oh well. I never said I was perfect, Internet. 
that is blue. We'll see how dark it turns. So it will actually go into there. Oh, there's purple. Yeah, so we have a purple. Which is cool because the last one, the marbling kit. That over there. Yeah. It has nine colors. Yeah, I know. The only reason why I like doubling up these things. Okay, the marbling kit. Basically, you put it into one one color, pull it out, use this to uh, get some of the excess color off, and then you put it into another color. Or just a paper towel. Or you paper towel it too. We did this one year, and it turned out pretty cool. And it has the marble stands in the box, but we never used those. And surprisingly enough, only one came with stickers, which for these, that's rare. Yeah. <sighs> Another fun color color thing. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to fast forward through this, so that's fine. I'll probably end up pausing it here in a little bit and then showing you the final project because it's fun to paint eggs. And these two can actually go straight into the bride. Flip it. We need to add some more vinegar to each of them, too. Yeah. But we'll do that after you triple them. Uh, it says it's six. To, it's two, four, six, nine, and now we have one, two, three, four, five, six colors. Uh, huh. Oh! <laughs> oh. So I'm taking it. This is pink. This is. It had a lighter purple in it, so that gets its own. And this is. Blue. This is green. Uh, I believe this is red. If not, some of these colors are going to turn out awesome looking. And these three are three whole different colors that I do not have cups for yet. Have I ever mentioned I hate little packets that are pretty much cut proof? That blue is deep. That one in there. So, when well, they're done sizzling, you have dyes like this. This is the green I happened to pick up. The pink. The other green. Purple. And it seems that this is a... Another shade of purplish blue. Kind of cool looking. This is another green, it seems. Oh, it looks a little lighter. Well, multiple colors in different containers is fine too. This is another pink. Pink or red, my look. It almost looks reddish tone. But you'll get different things, so that means unfortunately we won't have a yellow because I'm stupid. Okay. So, I'm taking a random egg after I'm smart and put on my gloves because, yeah. Plus, I don't want my hands bad this year. I don't either. It makes eating candy so much more less fun. So 
so I'll take this. What you want to do, because these are already blown out, is you may have to hold them down a little bit. Or if you're you, with kids and you don't have gloves, um, have a spoon or something to hold them down. Because unfortunately, that's the problem with having blown out eggs. And they will also sometimes take the color onto the inside. Which if you have a straw, you put it on the end of it and you blow it out. Nothing you can do is wipe, wipe one of the ends off and probably just dyed my lips. Not really. I'm sure you didn't try to dye your teeth. No. But I suggest a straw. Or just do it half at a time to where it doesn't bubble it in. Or you can set it and just rotate it on the on the top too. Because regardless what you do, you're gonna have fun with this. You're gonna you're gonna get messy and it's gonna it's gonna be fun. So that's pretty much how you make blown eggs to make into fun dyed Easter eggs that after they dry, you can keep forever. These are forever eggs, unless you accidentally crush them or use them for a spell where you have to crush them. Which is perfectly fine because sometimes people do that. So, with that and my long explanation, I will give you a quick look of all this stuff. All this fun and game and Soren hiding with their soda. And remind you to have a happy, safe Easter. Enjoy your time. Have fun. You can do this anytime. I mean, I'm pretty sure right after Easter's over, these things are going to be going on sale if you can find them. And you can do it at any time. You can do this at any time with any kind of dye or anything like that as well. You can also paint them with uh, taking actual paint and painting on the eggs. So with that, I'm going to say have a great Easter. Blessed be. Hell Satan. Not Hi. funny. Hi, babies. I was kidding. This is why Soren doesn't get liquor. Blessed be.